Welcome to Nepal. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to me. What's up, people? I'm on the streets of Pokhara, Nepal. Uh, I just got here a few hours ago. This is my first night here. I took a little walk around before. Uh, it seems like an amazing place. Really cool vibes up here. I'm gonna go get some food, uh, take a little stroll, see what the nightlife is like in Pokhara. I don't know what I feel like eating. Uh, actually, I do know what I feel like eating. I feel like eating momos again. Uh, there's so many momo spots in uh, in Nepal. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, it seems like there's a lot of cool little pubs and bars. There's a reggae bar behind me that I walked by before. Seems kind of cool. Uh, ja Himalayan Java coffee, Baskin Robbins ice cream. There's a North Face and a Columbia shop. A lot of people come here and then go trekking. Let's see. Here we go. Chuck Ken, authentic Tibetan and Nepali cuisine. That looks like it would be amazing. Upstairs. Yeah, it's a little spot upstairs. That's an option. Cool little bookstore. Outdoor store. Little dog. What up, buddy? Oh, look at this guy. It's okay. Let him. You guys, you be nice, okay? Little bar up here. Tea shop. Wow, this town is so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. What's this? Taki ba. Taste of the Himalayas. Travel shops, Fat Monkey. Oh, ho, ho, Fat Monkey looks like it's got that sweetness that's not good for me, but I love it. Oh, oh my God, and then there's over here, like Pizza House, Smoking Yak, Steakhouse and Pub. There's a lot of options in this place. Man, I just got here and I love this place. Seriously, the vibe's so good. Center point. Okay, center point. Look at all these. Look at these signs. All these hotels. There's like a ton of hotels up there. Hotel Gaylord? The Lord of the Gays must stay there. I don't know if I'm feeling too Indian right now. I feel like because I'm going to India soon. Ooh, Chinese restaurant. Man, they got everything here. Because I'm going to India soon. I feel like I should really indulge in Nepali and uh, Tibetan food as much as possible. I'm not going to go for anything Punjabi, Indian. I'm going to stick with uh, momos and noodles. And whatever else that they sell because I'm not like a big connoisseur of Tibetan and Nepali food. All I know is momos, noodles, hello, namaste. Um, all I know is, let me cross the street so it's brighter. Uh, chow mein, I know they make chow mein in a lot of Tibetan and Nepali places. Um, momos, I had this really good soup, I don't want to mess up the name, something like Thurga, something like that. Uh, that was really good. And laughing, laughing is delicious, like a big, big, big thick noodle. Hello, what's up, Hello. What's up guys? Namaste, namaste, namaste. <laughs> what's up, guys? Wow, where are you guys going? Yeah, welcome to Nepal. You know, it's so sick people in Nepal wearing Nirvana shirts. Wow. I think that's amazing. 1977. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. uh, what's your channel name? Uh, and my channel name is just this with Mesa. Just 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 yeah, 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 Okay, okay, wait, 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 hold on. Let's make sure. Wait, let me make sure I got it good. Here. I'm gonna do it real well, all right? Now give me a hug. All right, peace, fellas. Later. <laughs>
<laughs> what a bunch of cool kids. <laughs> wow, those guys were great. <laughs> yeah, you know what's so funny? I was walking around because in uh, like uh, to reach Nirvana is like to reach Moksha where you it's basically okay to put it simply Nirvana is like the Western version no Nirvana is like the Christian version of heaven okay simply put so I saw somebody with a Nirvana shirt on the other day no it was today when I was on the bus somebody was wearing a Nirvana shirt and I'm like that's so cool in this area of the world yeah <laughs> She just says yes. Uh, I thought it was so cool to have a Nirvana shirt in this part of the world. And I saw two kids with Nirvana shirts. I wonder if that's like a trend here or I wonder if they're actually into the band. Either way would be cool. Both would be amazing though. So yeah, all right, here we are. Let's go back, get back into this. Um, there is food everywhere. Tons of options. Um, before we get into the options, I gotta step into the ATM real quick. I need some money, baby. I'm low on the rupees, baby. Namaste. Oh, I, I noticed that. Yeah, the rooftop. Okay. You can eat up there? It's a restaurant? Well, thank you. Dine in the sky. 360 lounge dine in the sky remember when rooftop restaurants were a thing i don't know wherever you're watching this from but i feel like in canada there was a thing with rooftop restaurants like in the 90s my dad was like yo we're gonna do something special tonight Can you take me to some rooftop restaurant in toronto not rooftop like a round yeah sorry round restaurants you know, ro yo, revolving restaurants. <laughs> there was one in Montreal, there was one in Toronto. I wonder, yeah, revolving restaurants were a thing. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Uh, while we're looking for food, look at this amazing little place. I love it, I feel so comfortable here. I love it, I'm so happy to be here. Kim's Barbecue Korean Restaurant, that's cool. Oh yeah, they got the Korean Grill going. What's up, guys? Subscribe my channel, that's right. <laughs> people really know the whole YouTube thing here, it's funny. Every time people stop me and start, start talking, I always like, subscribe my channel, subscribe to my channel. It's very nice. <laughs> Himalayan Dorji restaurant. Momo's laughing. Suchi Main. I've seen that. It's got the Tibetan prayer flag, the Buddhist prayer flags out front. Uh, I think this is going to be the spot. That laughing city Momo. That looks delicious. Steam Momo. I think this is going to be the spot if there's room. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think there's room though. And it looks kind of in. Let's see. Perfect. Um, I'm not sure gonna give me just one minute so they got all types of stuff here momos oh big momos laughing I love laughing hot drinks uh, minced noodles I've never had that oh my gosh chow mein oh my god and turkpa okay there's too many things here um, let me choose some stuff I'll be right back with you so this place looks super official. There's tons of people in here eating. Uh, I really like the vibe in here. Um, and there's this stuff that I never had that just kind of looks good. So I'm just gonna get it. It's called the Shabakli. Looks kind of like a pie of some sort. There's a vegetarian one, so I'm gonna try it out. So uh, one veg pausa, uh, one dry laughing. Do you like it spicy or not? Pardon me? Do you like it spicy? Spicy, just a little. Yeah. A little spicy. And um, how do you say this? Sabakle. Uh, sabakle. Okay, a veg sabakle. I have a really good feeling about this spot. Hello. Hello. 
I'm sorry, I can't help you. No father, no mother, please. Little guy over there asked me for some money. It's hard, man. Like, and it's hard. Hard to say no. He said, uh, no mother, no father, hungry, hungry. Like, it's hard, man. Hard not to give when you know you can afford it, but you don't want to give to everybody, you know? So I don't know what that money's going to, who knows? If it's going to food, who knows? If he has parents, who knows? If he's giving that money to somebody else, like, I don't know, man. You, sometimes you just gotta hope for the best, but. And he kind of had the nerve to ask me for 250 rupees. And I was like, what, you're asking for a price now? That's when I, anyway, I still ended up giving him a little bit. But give him like 30, 30 rupees or something. Hopefully you buy some food with it. I feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. Uh, I was thinking two, three days, but after my first day being here, I realized I really like everything about the place so far. And I've only been here a few hours. I think I'm gonna be here for a few days. I gotta get back to Kathmandu soon. I got an order of paint that's coming. I'm gonna paint a mural out there with a friend of mine. Um, oh, here we go. The laughing. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. If you saw some of my videos from Kathmandu, I went to this laughing spot where they had tons of this and we got way too much and I was too full. So now I know just one little bit is good. This one is. Uh, just has the noodle with uh, some tofu inside it looks like they put like a soy like PVP uh, texturized soy protein PS anyway there's a tofu type thing in here mm. Mm. super good spicy I asked them for a little spicy it's pretty spicy laughing was super good it was uh, and it was only 70 rupees so that's 70 cents Canadian. It's really good. So that kid that I gave the money to, he just he walked into the restaurant after I gave him the money and now he just walked out and smiled at me and he had a bag of food. So I'm happy it's going to food for him. It's still sad. At least he gets to eat a little bit tonight. Poor guy. Yo, look at this though. So this is like a fried, it's like a fried patty. Okay, I thought it was like a pie. It's like a fried, two fried patties with vegetables inside. This looks amazing. This is called sabakli. It's spelled shabakli, but I, he didn't pronounce the H, the S-H, so saba, sabakli. Looks amazing, fried patty. Mm. That's good. Pretty salty though, but it's really good and it's freshly fried. And that was 150 rupees, so that's a dollar fifty Canadian. And they got veggie one, chicken one, and buffalo one. Mm. You know what it reminds me of? A spring roll. Because it's fried the same kind of way. And there's some cabbage in there, a bit of potato, carrot, peas. Mmm, it's delicious. Okay, yo, there's going to be a problem. Look what just came. Okay, so I saw on the menu that they had something called paudse. Uh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but it's spelled paudse. Um, and it said big, big momos. I thought it was just one, because the price was so cheap too. It was like a buck. I thought it was just one really big momo. It's actually four huge momos. Like, look at these. Like, I can't, I can't do this. One I can do, but after all that other food, I can't do this. I gotta find that kid again. Mm. Mm. So good. When they're that big like this, they remind me of like Chinese, <clears throat> Chinese steamed bun. Mm. So good. I could only eat one though, and I didn't even finish this. I gotta find that kid and give him all the rest of this food. And all this was uh, less than less than four dollars Canadian. Yeah, I had to get them to bag up the rest of that. There's still two momos in there and that whole patty. Ah, oh, I forget the name of it. It was delicious, but uh, yeah, too much for me. You know what was really interesting about that place? One of my servers was deaf. He couldn't hear. And then somebody walked in 
and started signing with him and she was deaf. And then when I went to pay, the whole back table, there was four, three, four kids, younger people there, and they were all deaf, sign language. So if you go there, <laughs> you might realize that a lot of the people in there are deaf for some odd reason. So if they don't respond, don't yell at them, just acknowledge the fact that they might not be able to hear. Man, it was so good. Oh, and it was just uh, 380 rupees, so that's $3.80 Canadian. It's amazing. And I still have all this extra food to give to somebody. But I don't really see many homeless people here, other than that kid. So, I don't know, but I'll find somebody, I'm sure. Now, I don't really want dessert, but I feel like, uh, for the sake of this video, I should get something sweet and delicious. I'm just saying that. I actually do want dessert, but I know I can't fit it in my stomach. But hopefully by the time I find it, I will be able to. So we're on a dessert hunt. I saw a few cafes with delicious looking sweet things along the way. So maybe I'll find one. Ooh, and this coffee shop just made me think that what I really want is a chai. Hopefully I could find a chai somewhere. Chai and a donut, maybe. Chai and some kind of sweet cake. So much action, like, and oh yeah, and like, so there's this main strip, but then also up there, you could go up that way. It seems like a bunch of stuff going on. And then the other way, that way, is towards the water. Uh, check my last video if you want to see what that's like in the daytime. Um, but uh, at nighttime, I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, yeah, so there's a big lake in that direction with a whole bunch of things going on there. And of course, there's a ton of bootleg North Face and bootleg uh, other Arcterics and other kind of brands for mountaineering stuff. Marmo, look at that little guy right there. Look at how cute he is. Man, I gotta find somebody to give this to. And I gotta find me a chai and something sweet and delicious. Looks like there's kind of more popping over there. Let's go on this side. Yeah, the, the block is pretty live. All types of things happening. Okay, cool. So I saw there's these guys who have bike set up to roast corn on it and like they modify their bike to have like a corn roaster on it like that's amazing <laughs> that's so cool hello <laughs> it's a really cool bike hi <laughs> When I first went to India a few years ago, I was in Rishikesh and I bought a Ganesh like that, but maybe three times the size. It was huge. It cost about $450 Canadian and the shipping was, I think it was $480 Canadian. So it cost slightly more in shipping to get it to Canada. It sounds like some kind of karaoke or bad singing going on up there, up at The Boss restaurant. Look at all these little restaurants and see in up, up most of these streets there's like more stuff. So you enjoy that buddy. You enjoy that. All right, there's a bakery right there. I can't find a street chai guy, which kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping for that. But there's a little bakery here. Do they have small things? Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah, look, they got all types of good stuff. Oh, it's huge though. Huge donut. No, you know what? No, I'm holding back. No sweet stuff for tonight. Um, you have chai? You make chai? Yeah. yeah? So we have masala chai. Masala chai. 
this tea. Okay. A green tea. Masala. Lemon tea. M masala chai would be perfect. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do with no milk? Without milk. Yeah, without milk. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> good. I got myself a chai. I'm not gonna go for anything sweet today, though. I'm holding back. Man, the guy said he he said he ran out of uh, the masala tea stuff. He ran out. So this is a sign. I don't even want to eat anything sweet. I can't even find the chai. That's enough of a sign for me to say that I gotta wrap it up. That's it for today. My first night in Pokhara. Beautiful place. I love it. Great food. I can't even find it. I can't even find somebody to give the leftovers to. I don't know. This is like an anticlimactic end. Um, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to explore this place tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, and the next day. So stay tuned. Uh, yeah, peace. Here, buddy. You want a Momo? Come here. No? It's delicious. Really? How come you don't want that Momo? You just want half a chicken, eh? Trying my best to help you out, dog. Even the dogs won't take the momos. It's a wrap. Thanks for watching. You won't eat the momo. This dog has a cookie in front of his face and he won't eat it. Once again, thanks for watching. Peace.